Welcome to Soul Story Time. Today we're going to be reading a book called Grumpy Monkey, Oh No, Christmas. This book is written by Suzanne Lang and illustrated by Max Lang. I look forward to reading this fun book with you all today. Now let's get ready for story time. Grumpy Monkey. Oh no, Christmas. It was a grizzly, drizzly December day, just as it had been all week. Jim Panzee wasn't in the mood to celebrate. Can't it be nice for one stinking day, Jim sighed and set out into the wet in search of breakfast. But when he finally found a banana, it was green. Figures, said Jim as he tossed the banana aside. Are you going to eat this? asked his neighbor Norman. No, said Jim, it's not ripe. It'll ripen in your stomach, said Norman. You didn't even peel it, Jim said. The peels were all the vitamins are, said Norman. I don't think that's true, said Water Buffalo from beneath the tree. Who cares if it's true, said Oxpecker. It's almost Christmas, and everyone knows green bananas are much more Christmassy than yellow ones, because green is a Christmas color. I'm so excited for Christmas. The weather stinks, the bananas stink. What's there to celebrate when everything stinks, snapped Jim. Nothing to celebrate? Oxpecker couldn't believe it. But it's such a magical time of year. There are presents and visiting relatives and decorations. Oh no, not decorations, said Water Buffalo. Of course decorations, chirped Oxpecker as she wrapped some berries around Water Buffalo's horns. Decorations help spread Christmas cheer. See, Jim, don't you feel like celebrating now? No, said Jim as he stomped away. Jim was so busy stomping, he didn't notice Maribou. Why are you stomping around, Jim? asked Maribou. You should celebrate. It's such a magical time of year. Celebrate? Me? I don't feel like celebrating, said Jim. Maybe a song will help. Fa la 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 la. Ugh. Jim held his ears and stomped on. Right into a puddle of mud. Oh, man. Hooray, Jim. You're just in time to enjoy some of our holiday treats, croaked the frogs. Nothing makes you want to celebrate like a little fly pot pie. Am I right, said Bullfrog. Celebrate? Me? I don't feel like celebrating, said Jim. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this magical time of year. You should wrap presents and put them under a tree. You should make a card for your mom. Don't forget your dad. You should take a long winter's nap. You should light seven candles or nine. You should quietly reflect. You should eat sugar plums. You should do something nice for someone else. Those are all good suggestions. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why aren't you celebrating, Jim? asked the others. It's such a magical time of year. The bananas aren't ripe. I'm soaked and covered in mud. This fly is driving me crazy, and you're all giving me a headache. How can I celebrate when everything stinks? And he stormed off. Jim tried to ignore all the holiday celebrations, but he couldn't ignore the rumbling in his tummy. Maybe Norman's right. Maybe the bananas will ripen in my stomach. He peeled a green banana and ate it. Ow, ow, ow. Norman wasn't right. Norman wasn't right about what, asked Norman. About the banana, said Jim. 
now my stomach hurts and I still have a headache and I'm muddy and wet and come to think of it, I'm cold too. Not to mention this fly won't leave me alone. How can anyone celebrate when everything stinks? Sounds like you could use some tea, said Norman. Tea, said Jim. I don't like tea. Have you ever tried it, asked Norman. No, said Jim. Maybe give it a try, suggested Norman. Jim took a sip of the tea. It warmed him all the way to his tummy. In fact, it started to make his tummy feel better. It's made with mint leaves that grow right here. Pretty nice, huh? said Norman. I never noticed the mint leaves, said Jim. They do a good job of blending in, said Norman. Can I get that for you, said Chameleon. Thanks, said Jim. I guess there are a lot of things I haven't noticed. It can be hard to notice things when you've got a lot of complaints, said Norman. Jim looked around. He noticed how pretty the raindrops looked on the leaves and that the holiday tree made a pretty good umbrella and that he was surrounded by loved ones. Taking time to notice the good things can make your problems seem smaller, said Norman. Jim agreed. And that was a reason to celebrate. Thank you so much for reading Grumpy Monkey, Oh No, Christmas, with me today. I look forward to reading more stories for you, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.